Dan gaan wij naar Route 16 in het afgelegen noordwesten van Canada. Dat is voor de natuurliefhebber een genot om daar overheen te rijden. Maar die snelweg die heeft ook een duistere kant. Een verborgen drama waar de meeste Canadezen tientallen jaren niets van afwisten. Maar nu komt er steeds meer aandacht voor dit verhaal van leven en dood langs de snelweg van Tranen. Hundreds of indigenous women murdered or missing in Canada. A haunting national disgrace with no solution in sight. For nearly four decades now, dozens of women have disappeared or been found murdered along the same Canadian highway. Marilyn Chipman is my my niece and uh, she was a young mother of one when she disappeared on September 21st 2005. There's a lot of ghosts in the closets here. There's a lot of uh, places where our girls could be hidden. I think I can feel the spirits of the women. All I can do is pray for them. Het is niet moeilijk om betoverd te raken door de ruige bergen en bossen van Canada. Maar achter de overweldigende natuurpracht gaat al tientallen jaren een stil drama schuil. Wie hier in de uitgestrekte wouden verdwijnt, wordt zelden teruggevonden. De Highway of Tears is een 734-kilometer stretch of highway tussen Prince Rupert en Prince George, BC. Het was, uh, was named dat door. Uh, our family members who have been mourning the losses of our loved ones for a few decades. Yeah, because Tamara is not the only one. No, no, actually there's three that I know of just from our community, our original community, where we're from. Yeah, how many people have gone missing over the years? What do we know? Well, when I started doing the research after Tamara went missing, I started doing research online and I started checking missing people person sites and RCMP lists and everything and also talking to people and I had compiled a list of uh, 44 members of that were missing and or murdered. Ver uit de meeste slachtoffers komen uit de First Nations, de oorspronkelijke bewoners van Canada. Zij laten nu steeds luider van zich horen. So this totem pole uh, is really near and dear to my heart. It's my 26th totem pole, meaning I've carved 26 totem poles. This one is for the murdered and missing women, uh, girls, men, and boys along the Highway of Tears. On the main figure here will be a young woman wearing a red dress. And what is that supposed to The red dress symbolize? represents the murdered and missing women. What makes this particular poll unique is who it's for and why we're doing it. It's a statement, like our totem poles are meant to be. Oh, Gladys Reddick made a statement, but then on her own way. When Tamara went missing, I uh, was trying to figure out how else we can create awareness, and I started putting the pictures on my war pony, my original war pony, which was a van, and uh, so I can carry about. 100 to 150 pictures on the van. This one here, I got a little over 100 on here. It was the easiest way for me to draw attention to our missing and murdered loved ones for our families. Yeah. And that's why I continue to do it. And I will continue to do it until I die. The acties van Gladys and the Inheemse Stammen have success. The Canadese regering heeft inmiddels een grootscheeps onderzoek afgerond. En daaruit bleek dat het probleem veel groter was dan alleen de Highway of Tears. In heel Canada telde de overheid meer dan 1200 vermoorde en vermiste inheemse vrouwen. Wat was een van de main findings? Racism. Ja. Yeah. Uh, major, major racism is is uh, one of the major causes. En dat led to neglect, people not finding it important enough. Ja. Yeah. All these factors played a role in. Yeah. Why this all could happen? Yeah. 
racism, and second in line, unfortunately, is poverty. Het rapport legt zo de pijnlijke en moeizame relatie bloot tussen Canada en zijn oorspronkelijke bewoners. Tot diep in de 20e eeuw rukte de overheid tienduizenden inheemse kinderen weg bij hun ouders. Ze werden gedwongen ondergebracht bij pleeggezinnen en kostscholen. Het was bedoeld om de indiaan in het kind te doden, zoals de regering letterlijk zei. Er is dan ook diep wantrouwen onder de inheemse stammen. Mijn naam is Constable Angela Rabu en ik ben de indigenous policing community constable in uh, Terrace RCMP. So my role is the community liaison between Terrace RCMP and Kitsilis and Kitsum Kalem First People, First Nations. Hey Gladys. Hey, how are you doing? Long time no see. Yeah, been a while. <laughs> At least a couple of minutes. Angela Rabu snapped as geen ander het wantrouwen en de kritiek op de politie. <laughs> yeah, I do. Um, and it's not you know, I'll be honest, it's not a part of the job I like because nobody likes to hear about how horrible we've been because I can only speak to what I've done and that's the best job that I can do, right? But I am part of an organization that has played a role with, uh, you know, the residential schools, the 60s scoop. And so all I can do is just keep working on those relationships and just move forward from here. Het overheidsrapport leidde tot hervormingen bij de politie. Well, I know for like concrete changes, um, our missing person investigations have become a lot more standardized. Uh, we have now in a missing persons investigation, a, a person dedicated to keeping the family informed. How would you describe relation between First Nations and the police? Not very good. Um, I think that uh, there is potential, but we have to remember that, you know, these, these are the ones that took us away. These are the ones that uh, have been responsible for, for such tragedies in our lives from residential schools, 60s scoop. They're the ones that picked us out of our homes. They're the ones that, you know, stole us and put them wherever they wanted to put us. You know what? If you look under uh, missing persons, you'll, you, you won't see Tamara. If you look on the RCMP list, you won't see Tamara's on there. For Gladys is this gevecht dan ook nog lang niet voorbij. Net zoals de zoektocht naar haar nichtje. As a family member and as her auntie, I have a hard time swallowing that unless they can show me proof. I need DNA proof bones, anything, anything to prove that she's dead. And until they can prove that to me, I'm going to assume that she's still missing and that we're going to still keep searching for her. De Canadese politie begon in 2005 met een grootscheeps onderzoek naar 18 vermissings- en moordzaken rond de Highway of Tears. Slechts één zaak werd opgelost.